Shall we give you a hand? Hey, I missed you. No, it's my Xbox. Get that back. I'm going to all the way home. In fact, I've whinged all weekend, to be fair. My dad was glad to get rid of him. No, I'm sure that's not true. No, it's good to see him, really. He's good with him. And me. Oh, another thing they've been madding me about is tonight. Tonight? Oh, I thought we'd, uh, I thought we'd go to a display. Yeah, it's just, I've been travelling with ease and just worn out, really. I, I promised them I'd get some fireworks for the back garden, doing some sausages. Oh, I'll give you a hand if you want. Yeah. Sausages, sausages, give them to me. Here we go. Come on, then. Come on. How are you really? I'm fine. Yeah. All right, I don't need wrapping up in cotton wool. I heard the operation went well. The nurse says you're finding it hard to look at your legs when she you changed your dressings. I'm scared. It's normal to feel overwhelmed. Most people find it hard. But it's important that you start to look and you can see the progress you're making. There's absolutely no need to rush this if you don't feel ready. Sorry. I've got to face it. Are you sure? Kev, are you, um... Will you leave us on our own for a bit? Do you mind? No, of course not. I'll go and get a coffee. Picture of a small section of the skin on your leg. Oh, God. The important thing to remember is the already healing. <laughs> Aren't you still off work? Yeah, I've just been up and out on the desk for a couple of hours. Uh, you doing anything exciting for bonfire night? Uh, no, no, Jake's too small still. Well, we're having fireworks and sausages in the garden, so you can come if you fancy it. Yeah? Bit of a thank you. For what? Uh, for what you did for David and Lily. Well, you'd do the same for me, wouldn't you? So, uh, what time does it start? Uh, at six-ish, but you can come whenever you want. OK, yeah, oh, I'd like that. Well, have a good workout. Feel that poor cold water on your... Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes what goes on in your head amazes me. I didn't invite Gary, Bethany did. And you should have uninvited him. Well, make a scene. Look, what's done is done. And you shouldn't be within 100 yards of that lad. State of mind you're in. In fact, none of us should be. Uh, are you forgetting whose life he saved? I'll keep an eye on things. We both will. May I present our guests of honour? All right. You all right? Pleased you could join us. Well, Bethany kind of made it hard to refuse, didn't you? Oh, well, it's a gift to have. Mm. Things have been difficult for both of our families, but I think it's great that we can come together like this. Here, here. Uh, come on, Jake, should we get you a sparkler? A sparkler? You be careful now. Of course I will. You'll have to excuse my gran. I swear she could suck the fun out of a bouncy castle. <laughs> they all seem to be enjoying themselves. Don't they? You seem surprised. I'd have just preferred it to be family, that's all. Oh? Don't get me wrong, I've got nothing against Gary. The lad's a hero. Yeah, and then some. Anyway, um, now that I've got you to myself, I, um, you know I love you, Gail. I know. We've been given a, a second chance. Wouldn't you agree? With all my heart. And, well, then I think to celebrate our amazing fortunes, we should renew our marriage vows. Gail, will you do me the honour of marrying me again? I don't know what to say. Well, if it's no, I'm in trouble. Yes! <laughs> yes! 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 <laughs> I love you, I love you. Um, just after another beer? Yeah, the fridge is here. Yeah, start myself. So. See, your Drake looks like he's enjoying himself. Yeah, it's just what he needed. What we both needed, don't we? 
Oh, yeah. Yeah, go on that. Cheers. So, how was your mum then? Ah, she's still a bit fragile after this skin graft, but um, I should put on a brave face. Look, it was an accident. Right, it could have happened to anyone. Yeah, it happened to your mum now, didn't it? I still don't blame you. Well, if I could go back, Gary, I would. No, it's, it's fine. Well, it's not, though. It should hate me. Well, what's that going to solve, eh? I don't need an enemy right now. I need a mate. Yeah, me too. Yeah, I can see you there. Just checking on Harry. Oh, no, no, here he is. Sorry, it's really cold. Come on. Do we have any of that? Mm, yeah, most of it. What do you think? I think he meant every word. Gary, wait. I didn't get to say a proper goodbye. Uh, don't worry about it. Oh. Your back's so bad. Yeah, I'll live. Look, I know it was it was a bit weird tonight. I've known weirder. I'm glad you came. Me too. You know, um, that stuff that you said to David. Ah, oh, you're really with you. Yeah, sorry. Oh, Gary, you were so good with him. What needed saying? I thought I'd kill two birds with one stone. <laughs> Charming. Oh. Sam's Kevin coming? He's not. We, we decided to call it a day. What? How can you do that to you when you're in this state? Actually, Gary, it was me, not him. Why? Mum, why? You two were sorted. You were going to move in with him. Yeah, well, that was before. I showed him a photo of my burns. Well, I should have seen his face. He'd be sick of No, he'll have been shocked, that's all. You've got to stop talking like this, Mum. I'm not stupid. I know what I saw. Mm. I don't want his pity and I don't want him feeling like he's stopping because nobody else will have me. Now do you know what he's feeling? Did you talk to him about this? No. It was already bad enough for the two of us. I didn't want to pick over the bones of it. So I told him it was nothing more than a burden. Oh, Mum to be kind, Gary. You know what, I'm not having this. This is mad. I've got to speak to him. Don't you dare. I made my mind up and that's it. You promise me you'll stay away from him. Promise me. Oh, I'll just turn you down, Mrs. Grimling, so your ears are starting to look like two bits of bacon. All right. Um, you might as well keep that on, you know, stop him. What are you on about? I've got Mrs. Davies meeting at quarter past for a demi wave. She's cancelled. All right, no worries. Well, I'll just clean the back and wait for my next client. Yeah, that's the thing. There isn't any, really. They've all sort of jibbed on you. You kidding me? Look, I know you've not done anything, obviously, but try and look at it from their point of view. You know, you're up on a murder route. Last thing people are going to want is you anywhere near them, especially with a pair of scissors in your arm. David! For all they know, you could be next Sweeney Todd of Weatherfield. Are you for real? Look, all I know is if you do stick around, you're just going to be bad for business, that's all. And look, when things were tricky with me, I mean, Grant told me to stay clear, and it's the best thing I could have done, really. Sorry. I'm uh, glad I'm seeing you. I wanted to set up some more personal training sessions. Uh, no can do. I'm on the subs bench. Back's still bad, sorry. Bethany, do us a favour and put the kettle on before you go, will you? <laughs> I'm not your slave. Do it yourself. I'm trampled mud in all over the floor. Gail, I'll have me goods for garters. I'll still be hanging around the gym, though, so whenever you need me, I'm all yours. Oh, yeah. Some um, biscuits go down well and all, yeah? Got to look after the workers. What's wrong? 
Nothing. Gary, I can see you're upset. It's Mum. Why is she not taking the tone for the worst, is she? No, 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 nothing like that. She's, um, she's been Kevin off. No. I thought they were really happy together. Do you want to go for a coffee? I suppose, um, problem shared and all that. I see you breaking it. You're right to be scared. Look, Kevin, I've said sorry. I mean, what, what more do you want me to say? Sorry? Sorry's not going to make Anna better. Sorry, it's not going to fix the fallout. Yeah, I know, but would you... Listen, I'm not going to do anything now, but I'll tell you this. I ain't going to forget it. You better watch your back. <laughs> she showed him a photo of her burns. Reckon he was sticking by the side of them. Never. He was probably just shocked, that's all. And that's what I said. She thought he meant he couldn't cope. Oh, you poor mum. <sighs> yeah, she's scarred for life now. And once she's got over the shock, she's got to deal with the grief. She's going to need all the support she can get. Exactly. That's why I thought leaving Kevin's the worst thing she could do. Well, then you need to tell him. You need to have a talk with him. Uh, just... Can't, I promised. Yeah, but... No, I made her a promise. All I can do now is be there for her. Do you want to give me a hand with the carrots? I think I've got repetitive strain syndrome. Yes. Oh, Dave, can you give me a heart attack? Playing iron string. What? Found oh, you! Oh, 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 We're not a care in the world. How do you mean? Don't stop. I'm glad you're getting your life back on track. It's just a shame we can't say the same about Anna. She's in pain and she's split up with Kevin because she can't even bear for him to see her looking like that. Yeah, well, what's done is done. There's no point in making him feel guilty. Look, all, all I'm trying to do is get by and just, you know, just give the kids a nice life for it. I do feel guilty, which is why I was going to go to the hospital and see Anna. Oh, good. That's the worst thing you can do. I'll go to the hospital instead. I'm oh, fighting his battles for him again, are you, Mum? Yes, the way I would do for you or Nick. I'll do everything I can for Anna, but you two have got to stay away from them windasses. All right? Hello, oh, Anna. Good to see you. Hi. Hope you don't mind us coming to visit. No. Oh, no, thanks. It's fine. Um, pull up a pew. So, um, how are you? I could be better. What did the doctor say? If, um, if you don't mind my asking. It'll take time to recover. Yeah, of course it will. You've been through a terrible ordeal. And that I won't be winning any lovely legs competition anytime soon. <laughs> well, I, I just wanted to say that, um, well, you know, when you when when you get out, if you uh, need help with anything, uh, well, maybe I could clean for you. I mean, that's something I know I'm good at. How are you lot doing? Well, David uh, would have liked to have been here, but well. You know how it is, uh, on his own with two kids. He still feels very guilty about what happened that day. Something he's going to have to live with for the rest of his life. Him and me both. You couldn't do me a favour, could you? Yeah, of course. What is it? Oh. I could murder a cup of tea. I'm spitting feathers here. My cup? Oh, yeah. A um, cup of coffee, please. <laughs> right. I am sick of talking about myself. Tell me what's been going on with you. Oh, well, um... Gail and me have decided to renew our vows. Oh, congratulations. It's really nice to have some good news for once. Yeah. Apart from that, um, nothing to report. <sighs> well, 
I can hardly believe that. <laughs> we should have brought Norris with us, shouldn't we? I mean, I'm sure he'd have some tales to tell you. <laughs> yeah. Him and Rita, they crack me up They're like an old married couple. <laughs> Don't tell her that. <laughs> Rita was talking to Phelan today. Sorry, I know he's probably the last person you want to think about while you're oh, in here. No, no, it's all right. She's, uh, she's buying one of his flats, isn't she? Apparently. She and Jenny were asking him when they could visit the site. There's something really weird about the way he fobbed them off. Why? Well, what did he say? Well, it wasn't so much what he said, it was the way he said it. He was his usual smarmy self, you know, buttering her up, but I could tell he was nervous. Mm. He's definitely hiding something. I'm knowing him, he's probably up to no good. Too right. If I were you, I'd just stay out of it, Michael. Don't get involved, love. Mum was going out, I should have buzzed. What are you doing here? Um, Bethany invited me around. I thought you must have said something about us. No? No? Yeah. Well, she's a smart kid, she must have worked it out. Yeah, I guess. Grand will be filing a lawsuit against you if you mix up a foam rollers and a flexi rods. You thought you think this is all a bit ridiculous? I mean, Maria Connor, a murderer, there's a dog over at number one that's more capable. Actually, you'd be surprised, Mr. Platt. Often it's those you least expect. You're kidding me. No, she called from the hospital. Apparently, Kev reckons that Sarah Platt was very persuasive. Cheers. So, are they, are they properly back together then, or...? Oh. Seems so. You know, it's the first time that she's sounded, um, normal since the accident. So, thanks. It's no big deal. It's a huge deal. Look, um, now that Bethany knows about us, what do you reckon, sir? I don't know, um, putting it out there. <laughs> going public? No, I'm just, I'm just fed up of skulking around. I don't know. It's just with, with everything that's happened with your family and, and with my family and then with everything that I've been through recently, I just think it just would be best if we could just keep things as they are. OK, I get it. No, no, I get it, I get it. No, it's not forever. Just until things are, like, better. Promise. Okay. You've done some work. Don't shriek your voice down. I didn't know what else to do, okay? That's why right you're on your doorstep. This is all my fault, this. I should never let you take him. I'm a big boy, okay? Why are you so blatant? I mean, what, they got a tip off? Yeah, obviously from Kaz. Are you sure nobody saw you? Well? Well, what? We just had a rummage in Grand's curler drawer and got off. And did she say anything? Like what? I don't know, like what they were looking for, anything? No, nothing. Mine's a pint, so yeah, I'll get it. Cheers. You know, even the thought that she's been in my flat just gives me the creeps. Well, how do you know if she has? Well, it's the only way that the scissors could have got blood on him. I don't know if she's been in there once. Oh, don't, don't. Just what thinking about. But why don't you and Liam come and stay with us, eh? You know, just till all this gets sorted. No, no, he's, he's been through so much recently. I, I just want to keep things normal as possible for him. Yeah, I know, but like you say, she's been in once. Sorry, I, I don't mean to scare you, but, you know. No, no, it's really sweet of you, Eva, thanks, but, um, I just can't. Oh, why doesn't Aidan come and stay at yours? What? No, no, honestly, it's fine. Well, no, it's not fine, and you're clearly not fine. Babe, she's terrified in that flat. You don't mind, do you? No, of course not. Party's not over already, is it? Never even started, love. Uh, where's my mum? Uh, I don't know if she went home or to Nick's.
You okay, love? Sure. Talking to me then? Come on. No, listen. Like you said, it can't be easy losing trade because of me. I've already got enough problems without all. Look, when you've finished, I'm going to ask you to come back. Really? Yeah. Grand's off, so I'm on my own. In other words, you're desperate. Well, I'll beg you if you like. I mean, I had no choice today last week asking you to stay off for a bit, but I seen the coppers yesterday on him for a murder when, when I know you didn't kill anyone. Yeah, well, I'm still in the frame, if that's what they call it. I'm not in my frame, you know. So how about it? <sighs> yeah, I won't mind. Take my mind off things. Yeah, right. Well, Mrs. Brooks, half nine, yeah? yeah. It's a pity this has to end. Mm -hmm. I better go before somebody sees us. Will you text me? Mm -hmm. What? Look, um, maybe I shouldn't say this, but I think I'm falling in love with you. You hardly know me. I know enough. Well, I shouldn't have said that, no, should I? No, no, no. Um, can we speak later? Okay. Okay. Get out my trusty electric blanket. Question is, where did I put it? And I wonder why Bethany prefers her music. Mm. Right, the toast. Did you do anything in particular last night? Um, no, not really. Just um, watched a bit of telly and then I had a really nice long soak in the bath and then just got an early night, so... That's nice. You want some toast, Gail? Yeah, yeah, all right. Which loaf? There's crusty white or there's this one with seats? Why do I have to make all the decisions? Well, which do you want, brown or white? Well, I, I don't mind, but, you know, sometimes you want... I know, Monsieur. Right? I don't know which one. You saw Gary's text, didn't you? And okay. set it all off. I'm not mind reading, am I? I owe you one. Yes, Thank you so much. It's OK. You've obviously guessed that we're just going to keep it quiet for now. Because, um, Mum, she's not very keen. But I'm thinking after last night, we're going to have to make a decision. Jam, you know... Whoa, 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 slow down. I've got a bad back, remember? Sorry. Not school. Uh, in set day. Oh, well, there's a nice warm gym around the corner. Yeah, it's um, that time of year. It's getting darker and darker every day. Nice to be out in the light. Uh, listen, I just want to say thanks for last night. It's all right. I completely fell for it. We both did. You're a star. Has your mum said anything? Uh, yeah, she said thanks this morning. Yeah. I think it means a lot to her that you and Kira have been together. Me too. No problem. And with a bit of luck, we'll have to keep it secret for much longer so we can all go for pizza, take Harry and Jake out that time. Yeah, look, I've got to go, OK? Yeah. Uh, I'll talk soon, yeah? Be back. Yeah. Certainly beats sitting at home worrying. Listen, everybody knows this Kaz is an old case. Mm. Except for the police. Who have no evidence. I'll just get you that tea, Mrs Scott. Hi. Hello. I was hoping I might run into you. Yeah, me too. Really? I thought I screwed up this morning. The only reason that I didn't say anything is because I just, I didn't feel ready to. But I do feel the same for you. Yeah? Well, that's good. Isn't it? I don't see what the problem is. <sighs> right, there's a reason that I've been holding back. Not because I'm going too fast. No, because it's something I haven't told you. I'm scared that when I do tell you, it's just going to change everything. What? David's to blame for the accident that nearly killed your mum. Well, everyone knows that. No, I... Yeah, but he purposefully set out that day to hurt someone. My mum? No. Do you know Clayton? You know the guy that stabbed Kylie? Yeah. He was going to try and kill him. Drive his car into the security van. I still don't get the connection. Because to make sure that he killed Clayton, he put all this petrol in the car, like turned his car into a bomb. But it all went wrong. And he nearly killed you and your mum instead. And you've known that all this time? And I didn't tell you, and I'm so sorry. 
explain what you didn't tell the police? No, because we were trying to handle it as a family. Oh, well, you did a great job. Well, we thought we had it under control. But you didn't, did you? Now, Mum's scarred for life. Gary, I'm so sorry. You don't care, you hurt you lot, do you? Yes, of course we do, and David feels terrible. Yeah, well, he's going to feel a whole lot worse. Why? What are you going to do? I don't know. Gary, he's closed for lunch. Leave me alone, Sarah. What is the point in having a mobile phone if you don't answer it? Where have you been? Went for a sandwich. What's up with you? I'm so sorry. What? Gary knows. How? You told him? He deserved to know the truth. Oh, what? So is he going to go to the police? Oh. Look, Gary, I know you're upset. I'm nearly died because you wanted revenge. Yeah, I know. I, I was in a bad place, all right? I wasn't meant to go so like that. So give me one reason why I shouldn't go to the police, eh? Harry, please, you need to think about Max and Lily. We'd be better off without him. Yeah, no, that, that's what I thought. But then Kylie would want me to be with him, wouldn't she? I mean, please so don't go to the police. i home now. And she can hardly walk because of what you did. Yeah, and there's no one that feels more sorry than me, all right? If I could take it back... Yeah, I'll... but you can't, can you? And now she's got to live with what you did to her for the rest of her life, and you? Oh, well, you're fine. You get away with it. Look, Gary, are you going to go to the police or not? Stay away from me. And stay away from my mum. Yeah. Well, thanks for letting me know. OK, bye. Life, 15 years minimum. Well, that's good, isn't it? Is it? 15 years for Kylie's life It's not long enough, is it? Well, no, of course it's not. Nothing is. But at least it's over with now and you can move on. It's over, David. Well, it would be if you hadn't gone blabbing to Gary. <sighs> Well, it was the right thing to do. Right thing for who? Because now we're just back where we always are. Curtain twitching every five minutes, waiting for the cops to show He's up. He's not going to go to the police. Oh, and how do you know? I just know he won't. Oh. Right, I see. It all makes sense. What? You and Windass. I'm right, aren't I? Yeah. Yeah, we are. Well, we were. I could blow that one. Sarah, do you think it would be possible for you to get a boyfriend who doesn't have some sort of beef with a member of this family? It's not funny. Do I look like I'm laughing? He's a good bloke. He's a really good bloke. And I could have had something great with him. And it's the same old story. I'm on my own again. And it's all ruined because of you. See you later. Where are you going? Just a few errands. What errands? Oh, bits and bobs, you know. Are you not going to have a brew? Would you believe me if I said I walked into a door? Don't know. Are you gonna tell her or shall I? Get away from that family. Especially him. He deserved to know the truth. Why? What possible reason could you have for telling him? I'm going out with him. You're going out with Gary Windass? Since when? It's not very long. Did you know about this? Not till yesterday. Gary Windass. Stop saying his name. He's a good bloke. Oh, you thought he was a hero when he saved Lily? He's been in more trouble than your brother. Hey. And look what he did to him. I mean, does that say good bloke to you? He was angry. He'll tell Anna. Anna will call the police. I knew this would happen. Mom, I don't think he will. How do you know? How could you be so stupid? Because I feel like all we have done is lie for months. All this family ever does is lie. And I just want a relationship that's based on truth. With Gary Windass. Mom. You know what, Mum? You've got no position to judge. None of you have. All right, what's done is done, OK? We just have to hope that a newfound boyfriend has got all the revenge he wants. Gary? Did you get my messages? Yeah. I'm not sad, I do. I love you. Right, so were you, um... Were you lying there when you said it? No. I know that you're angry, and I, I, I understand why you hit David. I Sarah, you nearly killed my mum, and you're his sister. You can see I'm a little bit caught in the middle there, yeah? I just, um, I told you the truth because I wanted to be honest with you, and it was a really hard thing for me to do, but please don't punish me for what my brother did. I need to think about things, all right? My 
Michael, where are you? I'm beyond worried. It's past six o'clock in the morning and just let me know that you're okay, will you? I don't care where you are or what you've done. I love you. It is me. It's, it's Gail. Still nothing. I hope his battery's gone flat. There's pair phones. He won't have my numbers in his head. So you didn't come home then? I thought I heard something in the middle of the night. I thought it was the front door, but it was Sarah. Yeah, I've been up three times in the night with Harry. I don't know why he's sleeping so badly. I mean, no text, no phone call. What's happened to him? Another woman? David! I'm only saying what you're all thinking. Eileen? Mum, he will not have gone off with another woman, and if he had, it wouldn't be Eileen. Well, how else do you explain it? Maybe he's been arrested. Arrested? What for? In case you forgot, he used to rob houses. This one for a kickoff. That's behind him and you know it. What have you tried, Andy? Maybe you just crashed there with them. Too drunk and too embarrassed to come home. Give him a piece of my mind if he was. Look, if you see him today, we'll let you know. Why don't we go and look for him? This is not helping. Where? Precinct, park, local pubs. Michael is not a drinker. I'll have a look around in a bit as well. Well, thank you. Right? Hello? Chase, how's it going? Yeah, yeah, it's fine. They're not uh, far off starting now. Uh, properly, I mean. Yeah, yeah, she's fine. She, um, she, uh, she wants a cat. So. Yeah. No, no. Can, can I, can I just call you back though? Because I'm just in the middle of somewhere. Yeah. You, you are. Yeah, beach. Yeah. Well, um, send me a photo. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I love you too, mate, yeah. Yeah, all right, bye. Please, please. The door was open. I left everything intact as I found it. So what is it that you do here, Mr. Grimshaw? I sell apartments, the um, they build a new block of flats, so I was brought on board to shift him. And you're sure that it's Michael? Yeah, Rodwell, yeah, I'm sure. He um he lives on the same street as me. He used to go out with my mum, but not anymore. I mean, not before he died. And you got no idea what he was doing here? No, uh, no, no. Uh, but my mum works here. And they still got on all right, so maybe he was coming to see her. But he doesn't get on with my mum's current boyfriend, who also works here, so... So there's that. And he had a... I know he had a bad heart. He had a uh, operation about one or two years ago, so... And what about this? Any reason to think it might have been him? 
Look, I'm not one to speak ill of the dead, but he did have a record. What for? Burglary. Hmm. I'm doing Ryan Cathy's wedding. Oh, maybe you'll do mine. Mm. What about you? Have you seen him? Michael? No, not since you asked me this morning. I should go on. Mum, you've left a message on the door, and if he sees it, he'll come here. Well, maybe I should call the police. What are they going to say? Is our old has been missing since when? Yeah, well, if it gets any later, though. Hmm? What is it, Eileen? Are you sure? Just keep in touch. It's Michael, isn't it? Found him this afternoon. Found him? By the site office. He called an ambulance. No. Oh, Ali. It looks like it was a heart attack. The what was he doing there? That's what I'd like. We don't know. Dead? Yeah, apparently. <laughs> well, he didn't last long, did he? You know how they met, don't you? He robbed her. Next news, they're engaged. Well, it takes all sorts, I suppose. She was devoted. Feeling has got something to do with this. What makes you say that? What are you suggesting? He's, he's in shock. I mean, we all are. You heard about the one before him? No. Mm. David went out with his daughter. Got himself into terrible debt. I have just bought the bargain of the century. <laughs> oh, any news? Not as hard as living with Pat Phelan. All right, Mum, let's get you upstairs, yeah? Can you not give it a rest today of all days? Why, what's so special about today? You've not heard? I heard what? About Michael. What about him? Todd found him this morning. He died sometime last night. It's not your fault. Of course, it's my fault. We don't know when it happened. Look, Phelan knew that he was there, and the next thing we know, Michael's dead. But I went there. I saw Phelan. There was no sign of Michael. It must have happened later, and maybe Phelan wasn't there. I didn't see any signs of a break-in. No, I'm better off staying out of this, Mum. Oh, how can we stay out of it? They all think it was a heart attack. Well, maybe it was. Oh, wake up, Gary! It, Michael might have found what he was looking for. Maybe Phelan caught him. No, we're just guessing. No, we're telling the police. I'm going to shout it from the rooftops if I have to. Phelan was involved. Nothing stacks up. I'm going to prove it. Where's my phone? I'm calling the police. Go on, where's my... Get my phone. Get my phone. OK. Yeah. Was it him? Of course it was him. Fine, you didn't have to be like that. Is he okay? No, I suppose we should think about getting you somewhere to eat, my love. You must be famished. No, I, I can't think about food. Uh, should we get fish and chips? Yeah, if I give you the money, um, can you go? No, I'll pay. Well, it's all right, Gran. I've got this. No, look, I'll get the fish and chips. I can afford it. I insist. I said it first. Would you please just take the money? He'd gone back to get an electric blanket and he was coming down the stairs when he heard Phelan on the phone and he was talking to Vinny. Um, Vinny's the other bloke who helps run the company. And, um, and he was saying, and I might not have this word for word, but he was saying, it's hard work pretending to like Eileen, but it won't be long before we're in sunny Mexico. And Michael Roswell told you this? We share a mutual loathing. 
shared. What do you think he meant? Well, Michael thought that they were ripping people off, you know, like the apartments weren't even going to be built. He wasn't sure, but he knew something wasn't right. And then I heard um, a voicemail on Phelan's phone that backed that up. Like I said, uh, my daughter, she picked his phone up by mistake. What did this voicemail say? It was Vinny. And he was laughing because there was never going to be any interiors in them flats. And, and well, and then I heard um, another voicemail from Vinny saying that, that, well, Michael, he'd been sniffing around the site, but it was OK because the dogs had seen him off. So is that why you got Mr Feel into your flat, so Michael could go back there? Yeah, I know it was stupid. He's not involved in any of this, by the way. Well, that's not quite true. But anyway, then, um, like I told you, his phone, it went off in my pocket and that's when he realised. Yeah, so I, uh, I went to the office after that. I feel him was there, but he just played dumb and there was, there was no sign of Michael. You need to talk to him, you know, make him tell you everything about them flats. M make him show you the paperwork, M make him tell you how much people have put down when they're going to be built. M you know, make him tell you when the last time that he spoke to Michael Rodwell. Make him take a lie detector. Right, ma ma no, Gary, I feel like they're not taking us seriously. We're very grateful for all the information. No, do you know what? I am putting my neck on the line here. That man is an animal. And heart attack or no heart attack, I'm telling you now, Pat Phelan is involved. Yeah, I will talk to him. No! Please don't let him get away with this. Don't let him palm you off. Michael Rodwell was on to him. He knew that something wasn't right and now he's paid for it with his life. Mrs Windass. No! No! I won't be Mrs Windass like I'm some bitter old egg with an axe to grind. I could tell you a lot more about that Pat Phelan. Much, much more. And I'm telling you now, if you don't do something about this, I'm not going to be responsible for my actions. Thanks for your time, guys. Thank you. No, thank you. You've got our time. <laughs> Pat, is that you? Yes, love. I'm sorry. Um, I've been down to the uh, Cat Rescue Centre. I think some inquiries for you. Everything OK? Have you not listened to your messages? Well, I haven't yet. No, love, because I'd left my phone at the yard. I'm going to get hold of you all afternoon. What's happened? Michael's dead. Michael? Michael, Michael. Gail's Michael. Why? How? This is terrible. Today, what well, last night, Todd found him this afternoon. He was near the site office. Near our site office? What on earth was he doing there? Breaking in. Come again? He was trying to rob us. Why? It's a million dollar question. Anyone got a million dollar answer? Oh, nobody. At least not yet, they haven't, but the police are looking into it. OK, what, what did you say to them? I said that we, we knew him and that he had a criminal record. Exactly. I mean, what? <sighs> what a chance. What did he think he was going to find in there? You know, the world's most precious stapler. A diamond-encrusted pencil sharpener, I mean... I don't think I'm ready to laugh about it just yet. I'm sorry, love, but it does somewhat diminish my sympathy for him, knowing he was going to steal from us. They reckon he had a, a massive heart attack. Yeah, well, probably all the excitement, isn't it? Fancy getting back into that game when you got a dodgy ticker. Hmm. So you didn't, you didn't see him last night? Me? No. i tell you what, though, now you mention it, last night, I'll tell you who I did see. And you know what? It's funny, because I thought it was odd at the time. Came to the site office, Gary Windass. What did he want? Like, he was... He was looking for my Why? Absolutely no idea. Well, I'm sure we'll find out sooner or later. When someone dies in mysterious circumstances, it usually comes out in the wash. It does. Going to bed. Will you make me a hot water bottle? I'll bring it up, love. Night, Mum. Night.
Michael is the least of our worries. Michael, you knew the truth. Michael is dead. How is that the least of our worries? Okay, yeah. And where, where's Vinny? I tried phoning him, but, but the line's dead. Will you just be quiet for a second? This is what I'm trying to tell you. And he's gone. Then he's gone, gone? Where? I don't know. He's gone. And so has all our money. How come you didn't know? How come you didn't know? No. Pat, he was your mate. Not my mate, my business partner. And he reeled me in. No, you were in this together. I thought we all were. No, Pat, I don't believe you. You know, another thing. You know where he is. Yeah, I do know where he is. He's on his way to Hawaii. He's cleaned us out, Todd. He's taken the lot. Yeah. Then you're gonna split the money, aren't you? And do what, Todd? Ride off into the sunset together. He's already gone. On the same day that I find a body on the site. Well, maybe Vinny had something to do with that. I don't know. I'm as much in the dark as you are. Pat. Sorry, love, we're disturbing you. Where's my water bottle? I'll bring it up now. Don't worry up, my feet are like blocks of ice. I'll tell you what, Pat. If you're lying to me... I'd be long gone, wouldn't I? But I'm not. I'm here, making a hot water bottle for your mother. He's shafted us, Todd. He's left us holding the baby. <sighs> what are we going to do? What are we going to tell my brother? What... What are we going to tell my mother, eh? I wish I had an answer. But for now, you're going to have to excuse me. Your mum's feet are like blocks of ice.